I'm going to show you this KDP low content book niche that my son actually got me into about two and a half years ago, which since I created books in this particular niche has been making a consistent profit of approximately $500 a month. That's pure passive income. So if you're interested in self-publishing on Amazon, creating an online business and or creating a passive income, then follow along as I show you what this niche is and the opportunities available there. Now, if you've not been to this channel before, then welcome. My name's Paul Miles, and I do videos on how to make it, keep it and grow it. And that's your money I'm talking about. And if you do like videos like that, then please hit the subscribe button below and smash that notification bell to receive notification of when I produce more videos like this. So what's this niche we're talking about? Well, it's a sports niche. And the reason it's so good is because sports are very popular. There are a lot of people that do sports and there are a lot of people that are interested in sports. There are lots of different sports in which you can create uh, different types of books in. And there are also lots of different types of books that you can create for each individual sport. Now, as I said, I got into this about two and a half years ago. My son has played tennis at a high level for the last 10 years. And so I've been involved in, in tennis and other sports as well. And it suddenly occurred to me after creating quite a number of uh, no content books, that's the lined journals and notebooks, that there's a market for people who play tennis for recording their training in logbooks, for recording their weight training sessions, for recording their diet and nutrition. And so I thought I could create a book aimed at tennis players around those particular areas. And then I thought, hang on, what about all the other sports and all those other sports requiring similar books to record similar amounts of information? And that's when I started creating lots of these different types of low content books. And that's when the sales or my KDP business really started to take off. I mean, with the no content uh, journals and line notebooks, I was selling a few uh, each month. But when I started to create this, these types of books, that's when sales started to, to really take off and increase. And then that led on to me creating other types of books. Now, one of the big benefits of these types of books is that they are popular all year round. But people also buy them for birthday presents, Mother's Day presents, Father's Day presents. But at Christmas, they become incredibly popular. Now, mine sell consistently throughout the year, but at Christmas time, they really do take off as people often buy these for gifts. And they can be aimed at people that do sports, people that are interested in sports, coaches, trainers, and referees of sports as well. So there really is a lot of opportunity here. Now, as I said earlier, one of the benefits of this niche is that there are a lot of different types of sports. So let's just have a quick look at the, the popular sports. And here we can see the most popular ones in the world are soccer, that's if you're in the US or Australia, but for the rest of the world, it's known as football. Then you've got cricket, hockey, tennis, volleyball, table tennis, basketball, baseball, rugby, and golf. But in fact, the list of sports that you can create these types of books in are huge. And if we go over to Wikipedia here, we can see here just by scrolling down, you've got these lists of sports. Just look at the size of this list. There are so many different opportunities. Now in each individual sport, there are a number of different types of books that you can create, which we'll have a look at in a moment. And then we'll have a look at how to just download a simple interior and modify it for different sports. And also, I'm going to give you a tip on what to avoid, which could threaten your account. So let's go over and have a look at the different types of books. Now, first of all, we've got the plain line journals or notebooks, and often these are gifts and often they are funny. So we'll have a funny quote or saying on the front related to a particular sport, as we can see here as we scroll down. Now, just as a little side note, if you're into doing merch, that's, you know, mugs, t-shirts, phone cases, vests, hoodies. You can also use these designs on the front of, of those as well and also sell very popular. So if you're into that, 
That's just another little bit of extra side income. Now you'll notice here that the sales aren't huge, but these best sellers ranks will drop as we get around to the Christmas holiday period. And remember, Christmas is only about six months away, so it's worthwhile <laughs> thinking about even now. The next type of book is the training logbook, and these are quite popular. And again, you can do things like a, a soccer training logbook, a baseball training logbook, a tennis training logbook. You can do that in all these different sports. And if we scroll down, you can see we've got some here. Now, you'll notice that the best sellers ranks are quite high. So that means that with each particular logbook, you're not going to make a million dollars over the next 12 months. But what you can do is create a lot of these books and, you know, almost create a little army of low content books. And some of these may sell once, twice a month. Some of them may only sell once every few months. But with quite a few of these different types of books, you can build up a significant income. Now, I decided to look at the sales of mine over the last 30 days, and I was quite surprised. You see, I don't monitor my, the sales of my notebooks that closely. And I just assumed, you know, I, I see the sales of my popular books, but I hadn't really seen the sales of all my sports related books. So I wasn't sure how many I was selling a month. And I didn't think it was that many. I know that at, at Christmas, it really is quite a lot and, and the sales do come in. But I had a look at the spreadsheet and over the last 30 days, I'd sold 222 of my sports related books, which some of them sell for more than $6.99. So if we take that overall, I think my average profit margin, because also some sell in the UK and make a bit more money, I was making about $2.20, $2.29 or something like that on average for each book. So the overall income for that was around about the $500 mark. Now I haven't created any of these types of books for two years. So that's pure passive income. And this figure will normally double or even treble during that sort of late November uh, December time during the Christmas holiday period. And the sorts of books that I was selling, just to give you some idea, um, I'll run through them. Ice skating, baseball, martial arts, they're very popular. Tennis, snooker, um, trampolining, um, rugby, boxing. There really are a huge number of different types of sports. So the sort of log books you can be thinking about are things like, you know, training, logbooks where people can record their training pros, progress, uh, weight training um, logbooks, so, and even weight training you know, for different sports, diet, nutrition, and also uh, results logbooks as well, where people that do sports can keep a log of all their you know, latest results, which could be things like you know running times, or if you play tennis, it could be um, results of all your, your matches, so then you can look back over them and monitor your progress. Now, another type of book that's popular is the scorebook. And these are popular for soccer, tennis, baseball, cricket in particular. And you can see here that there are score sheets and scorebooks, but there's not many actual KDP books here, which may be a niche that would be worth exploring. And we can see that the results are only 161, so the competition's pretty low as well. So that's something to think about. Another popular book is the playbook where coaches and trainers can write down the strategies and tactics for their teams. And sports that spring to mind are things like soccer, American football, baseball, and basketball. And if we look here at the soccer playbooks, we can see these here. These are published on KDP got relatively high bestsellers ranks, so again, you're not going to make a fortune from each book, but you can add this to your overall portfolio of books. And the next one is the referees notebook. Again, I couldn't see many KDP books here, but there may be a market for a, a small type of, of notebook that you could produce. Now, another type of popular book are those aimed at coaches and trainers for all these different types of sports. And these are very popular as gifts around Christmas time and also at the beginning of school and end of school. And here we can see we've got the soccer coach notebook. 
This one's selling reasonably well. Best sellers rank of 317,000. And these ones are being published on KDP. So there appears to be a market for these. So just think about all the different coaches and trainers you could target in all the different sports. And really, you know, when you take the different sports and all the different types of books and who they can be targeted towards, you've got potential of thousands of different types of books to create. Now, here's one that's very interesting, a particular big niche area within sports, and that's the things like puzzle books, activity books, word search books, crossword puzzle books, all related to sports in general, or they could be targeted towards different types of sports. And here I put in soccer word search, and we can see we've got a soccer activity book here, but we've got this general sports word search, we've got soccer word search here. And if we go down, we've got all these, uh, another soccer word search. So you can see that expands the different types of of these sports books that you can create. Now I went over to Creative Fabrica where you can get a lot of different types of KDP um, interiors there. And I found this one here, it's just a general KDP volleyball practice interior. And I downloaded that and dragged it across into Affinity Designer. And this was the PDF. So a lot of these interiors are only available in PDF, but you can edit them if you do I drag them into vector editing software like Adobe Illustrator, or in this case, Affinity Designer. And I think you could probably do it in, in Inkscape or Gravit Designer as well. And if we just take one of these pages and I'll move it to the top so it's out of the way and just enlarge it. Now, all these individual parts can be edited so you can move them around, rearrange things and you could change the font, you could change the words. So for this, we could change to volleyball if we wanted, or we could tailor this. I mean, this is a volleyball one, but you could change this for all the different sports that we've just mentioned. So it only requires a download of, of one type of interior. But as I say, you could change the font to something different. Let's change that to marker felt. But here in the background, we've got these volleyballs here. So if we were changing it to a different sport, maybe you'd want to remove those. And then again, I went over to Creative Fabrica. I did a search for volleyball silhouette. So just download that, drag it into Affinity Designer, and then just Command C, Control C to copy, go to our page document, Command V, Control V to paste. Move that into position. We can change the size of it by holding down Command, maybe just enlarging it slightly. And this is a bit dark, so using our slider, we can just make that light gray. And then in our layers panel, just dragging that to the bottom layer so that it's under all our lines. So I think you'll agree that looks pretty good. And you could change that graphic for any particular type of sport and so make your interior look different, which is important, I think, if you're using interiors off places like Creative Fabrica, where other people could also have the same interior. By just making changes, you make it different so you don't fall foul of any sort of duplicate content penalties that Amazon may dish out. And also, you could change the interior by changing the wording, changing the font, rearranging some of the words, and even some of the lines, again, just to make it a bit more different. And it's quite easy uh, using this method that I've just shown you here. Now, another area that people could fall foul of, and I'm gonna give you this advice to help you save your KDP account, because this is a big no-no, and that's around trademark infringement. So, you want to avoid using the names of teams, the names of famous or names of sports people, and also the names of um, sports organizing bodies like, for instance, the NFL or Premier League. I do get questions from people uh, who show me covers they've made or ask me, is it okay to use this? You know, and it's the NFL and they've used the logo and the name. That's a big no-no. If you do that, you will get found out, you will get caught by Amazon, and most likely you'll get your account terminated. So avoid that at all costs. And also I should add to that, avoid using these trademarked brand names in the metadata of your books. That includes the seven keyword boxes. I know they're hidden and you might find I'll get away with this. So someone that's searching for Manchester United might find my book. However, 
I did talk to someone recently um, who got their account terminated because they used um, a trademarked term in their metadata. And there is a way to find out. You're, you're not anonymous when you do this because using the ASIN number and using the brand name, you can find out if someone is using uh, trademark terms in the seven keyword boxes. So that's a little bit of warning for you there. Now with these types of books, like all books, one of the secrets to making sales is getting those books seen and ranked on Amazon. And if you want to know how I do it, how I use keywords in the titles, subtitles, description, and seven keyword boxes, then watch this video next where I show you how to do it in order to get the books ranked at number one and also get those little orange bestsellers badges. Thank you very much for your time. It's very much appreciated. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, then please make sure you do hit the subscribe button. And until next time, goodbye.